Mercedes had a horrible race in the Formula One inaugural race in Bahrain two weeks ago. Fans online, pundits, social media had much to say about it. The Mercedes debut of the W14 has not gone as planned. In their fight with Red Bull and Ferrari, Mercedes is not off to a great start. Now, should this be time to hit the panic stations? Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you're calm down. This is very bad. Or is this an overreaction? Mercedes chose not to scrap the W13 car from last year. They instead decided to modify the W13, take the parts and design that they liked from the W13, and use them in the W14. The technical director of Mercedes, Michael Elliott, said, it's better to take the car you've got and built on it. Although we had a lot of problems with the car last year, there were also a lot of goodness in the car. There were things it did well. You have to be careful not to throw those things away by starting again. Another new part of the car is a completely new rear suspension. While the side pod here is not radical, they felt it aided with downforce and directing the airflow to the lower exposed floor. Mercedes is looking at a lot of improvements to the W14 with the side pod revamp targeted for the Imola Romagna Grand Prix at Imola. Total Wolf states with the Imola upgrade expected to bring on only two to three tenths of a second, Wolf already knows it's not going to be enough to get Mercedes at the front of the grid. Total Wolf, he also added the single lap pace is not good enough in the race and they saw consequences. They're lacking downforce and it's causing the tires to slide. Mercedes wrote a letter to fans on their website saying, to all fans, Bahrain hurt. It hurt each one of us who head into every season determined to fight for world championships. It hurt the team as a whole after pouring so much hard work into the car that hasn't met our expectations. Honestly, it started to sound like a Tony Robbins, Gary V motivational speech, kind of the speech you give your friend when he break up with his girl. And they also said, first, we won't panic, make knee jerk reactions in the spotlight as fierce as F1. People are quick to point fingers or look for scapegoats. But you know us better than that. And after reading the letter, I was just waiting for the music, you know, the violin. I was waiting for the sitcom, which gives you the happy ending to wrap up the episode. Just a reminder, like, and subscribe. We're trying to get the subscribers up. Please like and subscribe. Prior to this, Lewis Hamilton had made statements publicly about his belief that the team did not listen to him over the direction of the new W14. He said, last year, there were things I told them. I said there were issues that are with the car. It's about owning up and saying, yeah, you know what? We didn't listen to you. It's not where it used to be. And we've got to work. You can't do it. I can't. You are stressing me the hell out. I'm not done. I'm done. In Bahrain, Mercedes were 50 seconds off first place Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton finished fifth and George Russell finished seventh. Ashton Martin's Fernando Alonso passed both Mercedes on his way to a third place finish. Not only did he gain a podium place, Ashton Martin is Mercedes' customer. Mercedes supplies engines to Ashton Martin. In Quali and Bahrain, they were behind the Red Bulls and Ferraris. They qualified sixth and seventh. They were well off the pace and have a quite a battle ahead of them. With Red Bull and Ferrari consistently faster than Mercedes, they are fighting multiple teams for the Constructors title. Can they get Lewis Hamilton his 8th driver's title? At this rate, he's going to have to wait a few years. The side pod redesign will help with the performance, but I don't think it's enough to catch Red Bull, Max, or the Ferraris. And if Ferrari can keep their car on the track and not have bad pit strategies, that's another constructor that Mercedes has to fight. They had their time in the sun. For many years, Mercedes were the dominant force, with Lewis Hamilton winning six driver's titles with Mercedes. Mercedes won the Constructors' Championship eight consecutive years from 2014 to 2021. Two years now, their performance have been lacking. They're lacking downforce this year, and the tire degradation is causing the tires to slip more than expected. Only one race has passed, so should Mercedes fans be freaking out, or is it too early? They're off the pace, but the F1 season is long. There are 22 races left, no reason why they can't figure it out. Plus, no one is looking at Red Bull, although they have the strongest team in F1, they could have problems, like how Ferrari had problems last year with their pit strategy and powertrain issues. Tell us in the comments how you feel. Is it too early for Mercedes to panic and scrap this year? Should Mercedes start looking into putting their efforts into the 2024 car? Has somebody pulled the fire alarm? Is it full on panic time at Mercedes? Or can they climb back to the top in the 2023 season? Let us know. Red Bet, signing off.